All right, so today is the day my new Epiphone 59 ES355 came in. Go ahead and take a look at this bad boy. It's fantastic. So right here on the case, this is a nice little detail. You see the Inspired by Gibson Custom and Epiphone logos coming together. And I gotta say right off the bat, the last Gibson 335 I owned, the case was garbage. It was chintzy and janky and you would open it up and felt like it was falling apart. But this one, uh, it's actually a little nicer, so it's a weird thing. And anyway, let's take a look at the guitar. Also, nice reddish color on the inside, or pink, I don't know, not great. But uh, we'll start from the top here. Everything you've seen online is true. It is gorgeous. You got brand new, the Gibson Open Book headstock with the custom shop inlays of the split diamond. Got those Grover tuners. On the back, you got that same logo. Yeah, nice gold kidney bean Grovers, classic. And this is all real mother of pearl in these inlays, so that's a nice touch on this nice ebony fretboard. See the two custom shop Gibson custom buckers. Not custom shop, just Gibson custom buckers. And then the 59 style guard. Classic knobs. But a really cool detail that I was really excited about is this switch. Epiphone usually comes with these horrendous tall switches and the washer on the outside is all different and weird and they're notorious for losing contact and being terrible. But this looks like the correct type of switch here. It's also not as loud so that's nice. As near as I can tell, accurate tailpiece. Let's see that Epiphone inspired by Gibson on the inside there. Serial number. Yeah, this thing is fantastic. The only thing is Epiphone just still chooses not to go over the fret edges here with the binding. You can see that. And to be honest, they're not super rounded, which everyone has been saying, and I agree. But not a big deal. Easy to fix yourself or just leave. It's not unplayable by any means. Action comes a little high out of the box, but again, not a big deal. Go ahead and make a few adjustments. But uh, let's see. I have owned two Gibson 335s. And I have owned a Gibson SG Standard and a handful of Epiphones you'll see on my channel here and there. The nicest of which was the Epiphone Lucille, but man, this thing blows it out of the water. Everything that wasn't, this is. This is for all intents and purposes, just like any Gibson I've owned. So this is amazing. Definitely worth every penny. We'll have sound samples coming soon. I've already been playing with it. Just need to get my recording rig back up. But, uh, yeah, Epiphone 59 ES355, inspired by Gibson Custom. It is amazing.